Hello class! Let us now continue with your module 3 in English. Get your module now and your pencil. For our first activity, let us read the two sentences. Dora is napping. Dora is sleeping. What are the two underlined words? Very good! The underlined words are napping and sleeping. What have you noticed with the two underlined words? Very well! They have the same meaning. So class, when do we read two or more words with the same meaning? We call that synonyms. What is synonyms? Synonyms are words having the same meaning. For example, student and pupil. Ill and sick. Big, large, and huge. Lastly, small, little, and tiny. Now, let us see if you can give the synonyms of the following words. Let us start. Number one. What is the synonym of wet? Really good! It is moist. Number two. What is the synonym of big? Great! It is huge. Next, number three. What are the synonyms of Little. Excellent. Small and tiny. How about number four? What is the synonym of wealthy? Very nice. The answer is rich. Number five. What is the synonym of begin? Alright! Start is the synonym of begin. Lastly, what is the synonym of good? Okay, the answer is kind. Were you able to identify the synonyms of the words? Good job! If there are words with the same meaning, there are also words with opposite meanings. For example, Meg is slow while Pete is fast. Meg is thin while Pete is fat. Meg is quiet while Pete is loud. Meg is little while Pete is big. So, these words with opposite meaning is what we call antonyms. So, what is antonyms? Antonyms are words having different or opposite meanings. This time, try to find the antonyms of the following words I'll be giving. What is the antonym of good? So good, it's bad. How about begin? Really nice. The answer is end. Next. What is the antonym of easy? Outstanding! It is hard. What about the antonym of dry? Fantastic! Wet is the antonym of dry. 
Lastly, what is the antonym of wick? Amazing! The antonym of wick is straw. Excellent class! I hope that you were able to identify the antonyms of the given words. This time, you may now proceed and answer the activity on page 10. You are going to write the antonyms of the given words. Then, after that, please read in advance the story on page 12. Thank you so much class for attending today's lesson. Please don't forget to do the activity and read the story in advance. Goodbye class. See you again on our next meeting.